Welcome to Modula's North American headquarters located in Lewiston, Maine. My name is Melissa Castle and I'm one of the many team members who work here. As many of you are aware, due to this current situation with the coronavirus and for the safety of both our employees and our customers, we are not able to provide in-person tours of our factory. However, thanks to today's technology, we're able to take you on a virtual tour through our factory, which still is in production. Did you know that Modula is the only company to manufacture vertical storage solutions here in the United States? Our headquarters is 102,000 square feet and houses 120 employees that include everything from production to engineering to other team support. And in 2015, Modula made a major investment of $10 million in new automation manufacturing and in facility upgrades. Additional investments are being made each year to ensure the streamlining and efficiency of our automation processes. In addition, this year we have opened a second production plant located in an iconic building in Franklin, Ohio. This will allow us to increase our production capacity by 2,000 VLM units to add to the 500 that we already make here in Lewiston. All of these factors together will ensure that we will be able to deliver the full line of our products with the fastest U.S. time. We'd like to introduce you to some of the teams that make and assemble some of our products. Follow me to the production floor. Welcome to the heart of Modula. Before we get started with our production tour, we'll spend a few minutes with Jean, our quality and safety manager. Hi Jean, can you tell us a little bit more about what Modula is doing to ensure the safety of its employees? Sure. You know, employee safety is always our top priority. You can be sure that we're doing everything in our power to make sure our employees stay healthy and safe. Following the CDC's recommendations and guidelines, we've expanded our PPE to include hand sanitizer, masks, and even protective gloves if needed. We've also put in place several measures to ensure sanitary conditions and social distancing. These measures have been in place since the very beginning of the pandemic and have allowed us to work safely right up through till today. If there's anything else we can do for you, just let us know. Thanks, Gene. Now let's start the tour. This is our S4. It's our automated punching machine. This is where we'll start our tour. It's also where all of the trays and all of the panels start their journey. The S4, like all of our machines, is computer controlled with patterns for each and every part that we make. We load our elevator with various sizes and thicknesses of materials. The computer tells the machine which material to use and cuts it into the specific parts pattern. It can punch material up to 12 one hundredths of an inch thick, over 13 feet long, and almost up to six feet wide. Once the pattern is complete, we can feed the part directly into our P4 or stack it on a pallet for additional work later on, which leads us to our next machine, the P4. This is our P4 automated bending machine. It can bend sheets up to 10 feet long and up to six feet wide. It works with the same computer program as the S4 and can bend the same thickness. We load a pre-punched pattern, tell the computer what the pattern is, and it bends the sheet into what we need. The P4 actually bends both panels and trays. The panels go directly to powder coat, so we'll catch up with them a little bit later. The trays, though, they need a few finishing touches before they're ready to move on. Kim, can you tell us what you're doing for the trays? Sure, Melissa. I'm throwing in a few rivets here and there to secure the bends. Great. Let's follow the trays to the next process. Come on. This is the sear machine. All the trays we make go through this machine. This is the machine that puts the omegas on the bottom. The sear machine can put anywhere from two omegas per tray up to 10 omegas per tray. The more omegas, the more weight a tray can hold, up to one ton per tray. After the trays are done with the sear, it comes over into our tray assembly department where we label it, put some final touches on it, sliders and tray hooks, and then we prepare it for shipping. Let me step out of the way so we can show you how this one gets ready. Fun fact, did you know that Modula has been around since 1987? Since then, we've gotten four plants, seven subsidiaries, over 100 countries, and last year alone, we shipped out over 2,700 machines. This is our LT8 machine. It's our three-dimensional laser cutter. It has a bundle loader for automatic feeding that can handle over 11,000 pounds. It can cut both round and square stock as small as half an inch and up to eight inches, eight and a half for the round. As you can see, the laser stays relatively still while the metal moves. Let's talk to Roger and see what else the LTA can make. 
Hi, Roger. Hello. The LT8 makes elevator supports, cross beams, and also carousel components. Thanks, Roger. Let's go check out another cool laser. This is our L3 Class 1 laser. Unlike the LT8, here, the laser actually moves while the metal stays in place, like you're seeing here. Like our other machines, this one works with patterns created by our engineers. The machine produces the majority of our VLM support pieces and quite a bit of our horizontal carousel components. The laser can cut up to 5 eighths of an inch thick plates, up to 10 feet long and 5 feet wide, but it also can give precise cuts. Now let's head over and check out our B3. Here we have our B3, or what I call the manual bender. It does the parts that are either too few, too thick, or too small to go through the P4. It does both parts for our VLMs and our horizontal carousel. Here's our newest baby, the Roboformer. The Roboformer bends all of the columns that we use as supports for our VLMs. We have four lengths we use in combination to achieve the height that the customer would like their machine to be. Each column has eight 90 degree bends. What used to take two people multiple shifts to bend, can now be done more efficiently and automatically. This concludes what I consider to be the automated portion of our process. Now we're gonna head over to the mechanical assembly areas. That's the areas that do more of the hands-on assembly for our machines. Let's check out what the electrical department's doing first. This is the electrical department. This is where we create the brains of the VLM, the control panel, like the ones you see here. Let's go see what Des is working on. Hey Des. Can you tell us what you're working on today? Hey, right now I'm currently wiring an electrical panel, but we're also responsible for building the elevators, wiring motors, and constructing the co-pilot support beams. So anything that has to, anything to do with electrical goes through Des's department. We're the brains of the modula. Without us, the modula is just a large white metal structure. Thanks, Des. Now let's go check out our mechanical assembly department. And here we have our mechanical assembly department. This is where we put together all of the intricate parts that go into making our machines function. Here we make the supporting parts for just about every other part of the machine. As you can see, we're big fans of using the technology ourselves as well. The VLMs allow our warehouse teams to work more streamlined and more efficiently. This is the structural assembly department. Depending on the exact configuration of the customer's order, this is where they kit all the pieces together so that the installation team can put together the puzzle. Hi Dan, Hi, what are you making today? Each machine gets its own recipe from our planning department. And that's how we're able to load an entire machine into a truck for delivery to our customers. We just have one area left for our assembly department, the bay boxes. This is our bay box area. Anything that is too small or too fragile to be shipped on its own is packaged in the machine's bay box. Every machine gets at least one, sometimes two of these. Anything that we don't want to get lost gets packed in here. And here we have the S28. This is where we attach and test the sensors to our ladders, always making sure that our safety protocols are working. Tucked away in a corner in our manual welding, here we have this bag boy, our robo welder. This is our automatic welder for our ladders. Rather than having hours of manual welding, we can increase the efficiency, repeatability, and safety. We're also in the process of testing protocols which will allow us to weld new parts, including those of our horizontal carousel. Right, Brittany? Yeah, we are already looking to expand our machine capabilities. Thanks, Brittany. Good, now let's keep moving. This is our warehouse department. They're the biggest users of our VLMs. They pick everything from electrical to horizontal carousel parts. The shipping department uses our WMS system. Our warehouse management system software complements all of our products. You only have to learn it once, no matter how many different units of ours you may have. Just one last stop on our tour, the powder coat line. Remember those panels I told you about earlier on the P4? This is where they end up. Using our proprietary modular white, we powder coat all of our parts in-house. We can handle parts 13 feet long, 6 feet wide, and up to 200 pounds each. We can also do other colors. That's the end of our production floor tour. Well, why don't we head back into the offices? This completes our tour of our plant here in Lewiston, Maine. We hope you are able to see how we utilize the best machinery and the best talents to create our VLMs and horizontal carousels. 
We look forward to a time when we can reopen our plant for tours and customer visits. But until then, please remember to use safe work practices as we all work together to fight the coronavirus. If you'd like more information, you can contact Modula at info.usa at modula.com or give us a call at 207-440-5100. Thank you and have a wonderful and safe day.